So I'm running a little later <laughs> than I would like to. It is 6.43. So I'm trying to think if I can speed to work and make it to the hospital in about 15 minutes and then make it over to the schoolhouse in about 12 minutes, I'm gonna be able to sit and eat breakfast. I made it to my spot real quick for my little setup. I am watching, oh shoot. I'm watching my videos and I have my food here. I have this um, turkey egg potato from the hospital. I actually got two of these and then I got me an apple juice. So yeah, I'm about to sit here and enjoy this and watch my videos. Hey guys, what's up? So I just got out of a test, a test that was about four hours long and it was 215 questions or something like that. Just know I just failed the shit out of this test. <laughs> I failed this test so bad it made absolutely no sense. We, She said that the passing score was 80 and I got a 46 point something. <sighs> whatever i'm just praying that this is nothing like the nclex because if this if this is the nclex like those questions which i feel like it's not because i've been doing my studying for the nclex and the questions that i've been getting while i'm studying was not the questions that i just did i think it's just something some questions and stuff that she threw together but i didn't feel too bad because a few a few other people got some lower scores than i did but just know it got to a point where i just started guessing because 90% of the questions were medication questions. I I don't know my medications. I seriously need to study my medications. That really just opened my eyes and showed me that you need to study over not only my medications, but um, a few of the disease processes and stuff like that. So right now, what I'm about to do is I'm about to head back over to the hospital, grab some food and come back and park hopefully at that point nobody has taken my parking space so i can get back over there let me see where do which way should i go which way is quickest yeah sorry i know i'm talking so fast but y'all that test literally just it just upset me <laughs> it just made me so mad but then there was like typos and stuff in it and there was a bunch of repeat questions so for example if there's a question that I for sure did not know that means I just missed two questions and there was like six of them like that so that means that's 12 questions that I'm 100% sure I probably got wrong because they were repeat questions which sucks a lot Ugh. I got the worst heartburn in my life right now. <sighs> I got my lunch. It is 12.04. Now I'm going to try to make it back real quick because we have lunch for an hour. So, well, until 13.30. So, I'm on lunch until 13.30. Like I said, I finished that test earlier. Horrible score. Failed, like, bomb that test, 100%. But when we were leaving, I was stopped by one of the majors, and he's like, how'd you do? And in my mind, I'm thinking, out of all people, out of all people that can be stopping me and asking me how I did, it have to be this, you know, very respected high-ranking officer right and I'm like sorry I didn't do good at all he's like throw out a number I'm like 46 and he's like that's all right that's all right and I'm like yeah it was just a bunch of medications on there you know I really need to study my medications it just showed me what I needed to work on and he's like it's fine it's okay next time now you know what you need to study on so I expect you to do better next time and now I'm thinking like <laughs> the pressure 
<laughs> I don't want the pressure. So we'll see. I'm gonna, I seriously have to study so I can get a better score. But we're told to bring a notebook, a spiral notebook when we come back. So I'm thinking, I'm trying to figure out if I have a notebook in my backpack. I feel like, oh yes, okay, good. So I have a notebook, well, some notebook paper <laughs> in my backpack so I don't have to go anywhere extra to pick that up. I'm so dark right now. I told y'all these glasses be trying to play me. This camera be trying to play me. Like, how don't you recognize my face with glasses on? Yeah, so I'm about to just go park, chill, eat, and be disappointed in myself. <laughs> Y'all, the day has finally ended. I'm trying to figure out if there's anything else that I need to grab before I go home because I'm off for today. I'm going home. Oh man, is there anything due tonight? I don't have homework tonight. Yeah, I'm free tonight, okay? What? <laughs> what I'm about to do? Like I don't gotta be up at five o'clock in the morning. I'm probably going to stop by chick-fil-a and grab a frosted um what is it called a frosted lemonade i don't know if i want a frosted coffee or a frosted lemonade i might just get a frosted coffee i haven't had one of those in a while and use points to pay for it that's what i need to do i have over <laughs> i have like seven thousand something points ooh, ooh, what did i put in there We're good <laughs> my juice and everything spilled out I think it was closed I didn't open it yet my cookies but what was I even saying what you always want to be needy what what happened who did it who did it so I caught myself making it home and trying to sneak in but Darian was literally right there at the door doing some kind of dance as I'm coming in so that didn't work and of course you just saw Sam over here being extra needy and I think Amia is asleep I kind of peeked my head in there she sat up just a few times but then she laid back down and she didn't get back up so I'm not sure um hopefully she's asleep for at least 30 more minutes so I can go ahead and get adjusted into home right now but yeah let me go ahead and finish getting undressed i was in a process of getting undressed <laughs> um yeah so let me change my clothes real quick <gasps> i got a burp what was that i think this is good i think this i think this is good enough i mean yes it's a little as long as there's not a lot of trash and stuff laying around this is fine this is good okay this is honestly just the bed because i have pillows and blankets and and cardigans and and stuff all over the place so it's not that bad that means i'm not about to clean it okay this is me trying to justify why i i'm not about to clean it let me go ahead and put mia's ipad on the charger speaking of mia's ipad guys this isn't okay it's her ipad now but this is actually Darion's old iPad. Amia's iPad is right here. Now, I don't know if you can see this or not, but it's bashed in here. It has cracks all over it. It doesn't work anymore because she actually got into the bathtub with it. Yes, so I ran some bath water thinking I'm about to put her in a bath and she ended up getting in before it was even ready with her entire iPad, submerged the entire thing. It didn't work for the first day. The second day it was working all right, but then it just, it just, it was just gone. So Darion, the great big brother that he is, let her have this one. And me is not sleep anymore. 
Can you put some clothes on? So before I do anything at all, when I get home, I like to figure out what I'm cooking for dinner. That's if I'm cooking for dinner that day. Yes. I don't want food. You don't want food? No. What was I just saying? So I try to figure out what I'm going to be cooking that night for dinner. That's if I'm cooking for dinner because sometimes I definitely do not feel like doing anything when I come in here at all. Sometimes I just eat me a bowl of cereal and I'll be good. But I'm going to try to, I'm going to make some of those drumettes and flats with with some of these okay so now i know what i'm cooking for dinner so three days later Hey guys, what's up? I have to give y'all a quick update. Hold on, let me get comfortable. Okay, so I'm in a new setting. I'm in Georgia. I'm at Rand's house. Hey, hey. What's up, what's up, what's up? Okay, so I have no clue where I left this vlog off. Let me take these glasses off. Y'all know how this camera be trying to play me. But I do not know where I left off. I even tried to look back at the footage to see where I left off. But just know, wherever I left off from there until now it was like i blinked and now i'm here so let me tell y'all about my flight real quick i had to come to georgia to see about my house and everything because you know i had tenants and stuff in there and i've been stressing since like november to see like the state and the condition and stuff it's been left in and i'm finally here but let me back it up so i ended up getting off a little bit early i got my first wax okay so i got off work because i had a wax appointment and so i got my first wax and that was that was quite an interesting experience to be completely honest i'm only going back one more time since i did set the appointment or whatever and you know it's discounted because i was a first time person but i'm gonna go one more time but after that i don't think i'm gonna go back to that same place because when i say my wax job at first looked as if I could have just did that mess myself. I mean, I have done it a few times myself, but I probably pulled off some skin. That's why I didn't want to do it again. But it just didn't look right. It didn't look clean. I still have like hairs and stuff. And so when I got home, I had to pluck around a little bit myself because she did go in afterwards and you know pluck out some hair and i wanted like some a trail left it looked like a mess so i had to get a razor you know shape it up and everything i had the two strips done in the back it was an interesting experience okay just know that and i got my armpits done so after i ended up getting my wax i had to do some grocery shopping for of course angel um me and darion because they're back home obviously so i had to go ahead and do some little grocery shopping for them y'all when i say i need to just stay at a walmart because i'd be spending way too much money in walmart it makes absolutely no sense the amount of money i'd be spending in walmart i honestly kind of spent that much because i ended up getting the kids um some valentines so i got them some valentines just some little stuff i had to go back to burlington i had to get a smaller suitcase i needed to get a carry-on because i decided okay i don't want to have to check my luggage i didn't want to even waste that time so i went to got a i went and got a smaller suitcase and completely condensed everything down in that little suitcase that i was bringing i ended up taking an uber because i didn't want to have to park my car and pay for that fee but my uber kept getting lost you know how you can see the uber on the screen this man is turning around like a thousand times i'm like come on seriously like i'm waiting out here for 15 minutes when the thing originally said you were two minutes away how did you get lost get in the car with him you know he was a cool man but he kept getting lost going to the airport so what should have took about 15 minutes to get to the airport took me about 30 minutes to get to the airport and i'm like what the heck why why are you keep turning around sir the gps is telling you to go this way but he's like oh no no i messed up again no you didn't just keep going i don't we get to the airport i get through tsa and everything everything was cool i board my first flight and i i went from san antonio out to atlanta so when i got out to atlanta i was supposed to come from there here to augusta and that's where the nonsense started because the plane was delayed they kept coming on saying that they were having communication issues and i'm like okay maybe you know they'll figure it out maybe they'll put us on a different plane something so after like an hour of constantly delaying us 
30 minutes after 30 minutes after 30 minutes, they said that they were going to be canceling the flight due to weather. Now, they weren't able to give us a hotel. They weren't able to get us a refund. They weren't able to give us anything because it was a weather issue. If it would have been the communication issue, like they've been saying that it was a communication issue, then they would have been able to give people hotels and their money back and stuff like that. But it wasn't a communication issue. Now all of a sudden, it's a weather issue. Okay, so I'm sitting there and it's a bunch of people and we're all just mad. Everybody's walking away and I'm I'm on the phone with Rand and I'm like, you know, I'm gonna rent a car. He's like, no, I can drive down to get you. And I'm over here being stubborn. I'm like, I don't wanna sit here for two hours for you to get here and then we have to drive two hours back. Like I'm pissed right now. And I hear like some of the people around me saying the same thing. They're like, yeah, we're just gonna get a rental and stuff like that. So the people that I heard talking about getting a rental, they were talking about getting a rental together. And so I'm like, oh, maybe I can get in on their rental. So they started walking off. I got my suitcase and I'm running and I'm trying to catch up to them. And, you know, kind of started a brief conversation. And when they bought up that they were getting a rental, I'm like, oh my gosh, can I go with you guys? I can put on, it's no problem. And they're like, yeah, come on. So it was like, five of us were putting on to get to get a uber i kid you not we kept saying like this was the start of like a comedy or something like that we decided okay we're gonna we're just gonna get a rental now we have to find the rental place or whatever there was an explosion before we were able to even get on the first train everybody raced to this little area in the airport and i don't know if you guys are familiar with the atlanta airport but it's like a little area where they're building a hotel i guess and so everybody is racing to this little area only to be stopped and we're all just twiddling our thumbs waiting and the lady she comes on and she goes it was this lady with a with a thing and she goes there's going to be a bit of a, a loud boom the building is going to shake like she's just telling us all this stuff when she should have been putting emphasis on how loud this explosion was going to be because it was literally right outside the building like it was right there like you could have seen it happen and you just hear this big and everything just starts shaking and rattling the little kids are screaming and stuff like that and we're just looking at each other like what in the world is this it got to the point we all just started cracking up laughing like we we're laughing so hard like so hard because i'm like why is this why is this even a thing right now we get on the train we go to the place that's supposed to have rentals we get there and everybody's thinking the same thing so the whole entire airport that well everybody that had that flight delayed we're all trying to run so we can get these dang rentals we get to the first place they have no renter no no rentals left so now we have to go to a different area we have to get back on this train we're going to the place and as soon as those train doors open everybody is like knee to chest in it to the area and we're like trying to hurry up and go we're looking for the shortest line we went to like three different places and all of the cars were gone and so we ended up getting in one other line and the lady that was with us she's like she's like i don't care what you have i don't know what it is we just need a car okay we just need a car we just need to get to augusta the lady's all frantic behind the counter we're all frantic and you know it was just i don't know it was just so weird so we finally find the rental or whatever because finding the car itself was even a challenge so we finally find a rental we get into the rental and we're driving to augusta in some type of way we ended up in like a rainstorm the people i ended up with was it was a medical professional then there was um a mom of another soldier that stationed on fort gordon and then it was a performer and then the guy was actually a first sergeant literally coming that was his he was pcsing from from korea at that point you know trying to get back to his wife and i'm trying to come here to see this man back here <laughs> and so everybody is just like we had a reason we had a purpose but we ended up going our separate ways i'm telling y'all these people were heaven sent she didn't even let us pay her for the rental and it was not cheap she did not let us pay her pay her whatsoever but uh, that's enough of that little story time so what we're about to do now finally we're getting ready to leave out so we can head to Hinesville so I can finally see my house so let's go and see what the house is looking like What was this? I bet 
Oh, what's that smell? See, up here. So remember when we were talking, look at the blinds. How is this even a thing? This look like what? Probably dog pee all over the place. Yeah, I'm gonna have to have somebody come out and clean out this backyard. I'm not doing that. You got dog poop all on the floor. What is this? Yeah, and there's paint literally all over the floor. Look at this. Like, like, what am I supposed to do with this? Is she really? Come on. Now. Yeah, yeah. Nothing. I think she did. It, no, it, there's no way that was a accident. The she floor's put, held she up. Put this down. She put, did you put this down? I put this down. I put this toilet in. I put all this stuff down, and I wanted them to put the caulk around the toilet and around this. But the floor held up. I think I want to put the same thing down in the other bathroom. Hey guys, hopefully these clips are okay. I'm vlogging on my phone and Rand's just getting back in the car. So we went to the house, we looked at everything and I'm obviously not happy. I'm not happy at all, but um, yeah, he just grabbed some food and we're about to go back to the house and clean just a little bit. I'm freezing because he keep trying to freeze me to death. So I have my feet up here. Then on. What, how can you be from <laughs> Iowa and, and you always complain about being cold? Y'all, when I show y'all this walkthrough for my house, y'all gonna be shocked. No, y'all don't know my tenant, but to know who it is that just did this to me, it's messed up. Oh, my car messed up as well. Y'all know I have two cars and I left one behind with a certain individual and even my car is all messed up. Like everything's messed up. So <sighs> yeah, I'm kind of irritated, but it's fine. So um, we got some stuff to, like I said, clean the house. We're gonna probably just focus on painting and trying to get everything clean today, but I'll show you guys when we get there. All right guys, so we're in the house. I'm gonna give you a quick walkthrough, so. Let's see. So this is the entrance. This is the door and everything. If it decides to focus there. So this is the door and everything. And you walk in to all of this paint and stuff on the floor. When I say it smells like a straight dog in here, it smells like a straight up dog in here. You walk in here. Here's the kitchen. The washing machine is actually broken. It does not stay closed. Like this doesn't clamp or anything. So that has to go. Um, the stove is filthy. Like, it is disgusting, okay? It's disgusting. That gotta go. Like, I don't, no. There's mold everywhere. Then you have the refrigerator. I don't even want to open this because it's stinking here so bad, but mold. That's all mold in here. Oh, let me close it. Oh, jeez. Oh, it stinks so bad. Yeah. That gotta go. They left a bunch of food in here. So yeah, um, all of this stuff in here. All of this, we gotta clean out. And this is the laundry room. And they stole my washing machine and dryer. <laughs> there was a washing machine and dryer in here um, that was for tenant use, but I guess they thought that it was theirs and they were able to take it. So they took that. Um, oh shoot, that was loud. Those are broken. That's, what in the world? What? I just realized that the freaking light thing isn't even up there anymore. It's sitting in here. Oh man, so. This area, but then you have my blinds over here that are completely destroyed. I have to change those. Um, those blinds over there are missing, so. <sighs> mm, it's so much, it just stinks so bad. It's so much dog hair and pee all over this room. Like, I don't even think, I don't even know if you can see that, but that's all dog. It's, it's, it's horrible. 
Um, there's a bunch of dog pee and stuff over here, like sticky dog pee and stuff over here as well. And my blinds. This is the blinds in here, so I'm gonna have to take those down and change those as well. It's a few rips here out there in the blind, um, which is like in the screen that I'm gonna have to figure out. The backyard, I'm not even about to go out here because, I mean, but it, nothing has been done back there. But I know that there's a bunch of poop back there, so I just didn't even want to walk back there. Um, so this is the living room area. So this is the whole living room over here. And then you have the... Honestly, I don't even know what to call that area over there, but it's it's a nice little extra space right off the kitchen. Um, and back here's the bedroom. So here is the master bedroom and the power went off. The power is out. You know, it's not connected any or anything. It's been sitting, ab sitting abandoned. I can't even talk. I'm so frustrated. But um, yeah, this is the bedroom here you have the closet over here i'm trying to check all the walls as well just so i can i don't want any like if there's any holes in the walls that's really going to throw me and then the bathroom and before i left i actually <laughs> did this so it's nice to see that the floors were actually holding up this bathroom i'm just so glad everything in here kind of held up i actually missed my house but yeah so everything's in here i see that i have my tools and stuff in here but now that i think about it i'm not even going to be able to use them because there's no power so um yeah there's that so i don't know but I, i'll be able to put down at least a quarter round so hopefully i can get that done my issue in here is somehow this door okay this paint right here why would you leave that there but then this door is completely trashed. This door is completely broken. You can literally see through the door. Um, and these doors are original. They're, when I was looking up similar ones, they're actually kind of expensive. And now I need to figure out how to find another door, basically. So I'm not even sure how that's supposed to work. Because I didn't want to change these doors. Because I don't want to change this one door to some random design and then I'm going to have to change the other doors for the uniformity. Ugh, it's just so much. And where am I going to find a little skinny door? See, it, I'm frustrated. I'm very frustrated. They, and these carpets are disgusting. You can't even see anything on this camera, but these carpets are disgusting. You have some dog poop sitting over here. And what do you know? How does, how does this happen? How does, how does that happen? I, I don't even understand. So yeah there this was my daughter's room oh i didn't even tell you so this was my room the master of course that was my room this was darion's room the poop on the floor <laughs> and this is amia's room so i guess that's a plus i mean oh my goodness i do not understand but yeah that is the um that's a walkthrough this is all the stuff that i have to um fix I was going to leave this situation alone when it came to the renters and stuff like that. You know, I was just thinking to myself, like, you know what? It's COVID. Everybody's going through X, Y, and Z. But now that I actually see the extent of it and I see that some of this stuff wasn't an accident. Like, some of this stuff, there's no way. No, I'm going to take some people to court, unfortunately. That's something that's going to have to happen. So I just found these little plots with someone's initials in them. This is a TA and then this over here it looks like a PW and maybe a BJA maybe. 
but I thought that was pretty cool when I bought this house everything in it was original so I'm gonna assume whoever built it whoever built it probably put this down I thought that was pretty neat Alright, so it's getting dark. So we're finishing up, but we got the carpets out of all of the rooms. And when I say those carpets were disgusting, <laughs> it's so echoey in here now. There's nothing in here. So they left some stuff behind, which is all this. I have to figure out what in the world I'm going to be doing with that. And this is the master bedroom with the carpet completely pulled up. Everything out of the, can you see in there? But everything out of the um, closets as well. So we're done for today. Rain did a really good job mopping and stuff like that. Was it tough? Was it hard? Nah, it was just small, gross. Small Shut up. Oh, I also, oh, we gotta pull this outside too. I almost forgot. So we had to pull this entire thing up. It was just one solid piece. I don't know if you remember from the last clip, but it was a solid piece and it's wet dog pee underneath it. So this whole thing is gonna have to get like pressure wash. Good thing this is concrete down here. It was just, it's just, it's just nasty, it's, it's all nasty. But yeah, that's, that's done with today. So, real quick, we made it to the hotel. Just to catch you up just a little bit, we ended up finishing up the house. I already told you that, so we finished the house. And after that, we ended up going to Lowe's to get some paint and stuff like that because we're gonna go back out there tomorrow so we can paint. I wanna get that fireplace and stuff painted, get the paint on the walls and stuff touched up and we went and got some food and then we went and found a hotel so i just got out the shower a much needed shower and i'm about to go and eat my food but first i'll show you guys this room because it's actually super cute so you have the door right here and when you come in you have the bathroom over here so i drew a heart on the mirror but you have this giant mirror all of this little vanity space or whatever the tub shower toilet and you come out and over here you have the microwave and you have a fridge oh shoot i'm breaking stuff already now over here you have this cute little entertainment center i love this little flower thing right here but you have a tv right here this room actually has two tvs because this is like the little living area i guess so a chair a couch a little desk area and you come over here and you have the bed and i have the heater on right now because it was freezing in here i might have to turn it off because it's been kind of warm but we have a queen bed um that's my food my waffle house and my energy drink and another tv and then you have this mirror right here so so it's super cute in here ooh 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 Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> but yeah it's super cute in here Rand just went and got him some food because he didn't pick up any food or anything yet don't want to turn this off now yeah let me turn this off now it's going to get super hot in here but yeah he just ran to get him some food really quickly and he'll be back in a little bit but I'm about to sit here and eat my freaking food. Find the remote to this TV is what I need to be doing. Oh, it's right. Y'all, this remote was right in my face. It's literally right there. I need to pay attention. just like my remote okay now i just need to see what they got on this tv hopefully where's the channel guide hopefully they got some good channels what? 
It doesn't. I can't believe this. this <laughs> messed up no one else seems to be bothered by this why yeah but i think there's two angles to the story i mean that one about the relationship between the actors was... never stop even authenticity guarantee gamers he was good well, is coming up right after this stay tuned the bunker I found something to watch, something about alien conspiracies, yes.